My relationship physically right now is uh, pretty brutal. My uh, partner, he's got a real grudge against my tummy. So now, because I'm overweight, I'm insecure that he's gonna find someone else. Think of mommy and daddy. My stomach does interfere with the way I feel. I'm not happy with it, and obviously that's gonna affect your relationship. It does bring bring things down when they shouldn't be. I loved my body before I got pregnant. Um, I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. And after I lost all the weight, I have this pouch, like a kangaroo would, and uh, I just, I don't like it. My stomach does interfere with the way I feel. Um, I don't like Richard to touch my stomach or to see my stomach. Emotionally, it, it's draining on me. I feel that it bothers him, even though he says it doesn't. I've been going to the gym for just over a year, and I've been working really hard on doing my abs, jogging, and uh, just eating properly. But it just won't come off, and it's just, I'm not happy with it. The surgery I'm gonna have is a tummy tuck. How are you doing, Stacy? You all ready? Stacy's an excellent candidate for abdominal plastic type surgery. She's got a, a, a right whole lot of so. stretch marks that give her a tremendous psychological impairment, I think, in the way she views herself. Now, Very often we're dealing with patients maybe? that have gone through a transformation themselves. They've already lost a whole lot of weight or um, gone through difficult pregnancies, and they're now left with damage to their skin. You've got this lousy scar here, and you've got this crumbly, um, uh, redundant stuff here that you want to have removed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a scar this way, get rid of all of this stuff here and pull this point down, sort of like making a dress. This is where the scar is going to go, somewhere along in there. I'm going to make it as short as I possibly can. I'd like my stomach to be nice right and like smooth. So. Now, do you have any and as my husband likes to say, I'd like it to look like I was 16 again. <laughs> My weight gains affected my self-esteem because I just don't feel like a whole person. I feel like I'm missing a part of my life. My uh, partner, uh, bedtime, he wants me to wear these sexy underwear and lingerie. And, but when I go to put the, like, I got the underwear on, right? Gonna go hop into the bed or whatever, right? He says, <sighs> like that, that's what he says to me. <laughs> You know, look at that, look at your tummy. You gotta do something about that, he says. And then that's it. <laughs> Party's over. I felt that I had to go to liposuction because of the situation I'm in. Okay, Pauline, are you nervous? Yes. Okay. Pauline's a good candidate because she's not all that unhappy with how she looks. She's unhappy with the pockets of fat in the abdomen and hips. The area that you really were unhappy with with was this sort of lower abdominal area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna outline, and I think you need a bit done up here as well, okay? okay? One often has individuals come in who want everything done, and it's not feasible. These are the two big mounds here. Mm -hmm. I have to work on that. And this here, I think, is the most prominent part would yeah, I hate that. That's I like to I sort out what disturbs them the most. And quite often, when you treat what disturbs them the most, it elevates their self-esteem. I feel that the option's there to do it, and I, I've seen the surgery done, and I feel that it's an easy surgery, and if it's there, why not take it? What I wished for growing up is to meet Prince Charming, just like the fairy tale, you know, get married, have the children, all that kind of stuff. Richard and I decided to get married in 1998. The wedding was beautiful. We got pregnant right away. 
I was really excited. Richard and I decided to have another one, and I was pregnant with Charlize, and I gained 72 pounds. I just figured, you know, the weight fell off so easy with Kiara, no big deal. I never realized how much weight I was gaining until afterwards when I look back and I see the pictures, I was really large. So two years later, here I am, I've got most of the weight off. I'm basically down to the size I was before I had children, but I have the extra stretched skin. And that's what I want to get rid of. I used to uh, go into a bingo or, you know, in a mall. I'd see like these ladies with their, their butts hanging over the sides of the chair and go, you know, like say something to my mom or my sister. And that's me now. That's my butt hanging over the side of the chair. I think she shouldn't be tampering with nature. There's nothing wrong with her already. She's beautiful. She's fine the way she is. She's beautiful. She's a great person. She's, she's the missing link in my family. <laughs> my dad left when I was like seven years old. He left with a younger woman. I always wished that my dad would come home. The harder moments were when there wasn't the money to get things for them kids that I didn't have. I always wished that I could be like the other kids, you know, with the fancy clothes and stuff, but I always got the hand-me-downs. But sometimes I wish my life was different because I feel like I would have been better off in life and in general. I had Alana when I was uh, 19 years old and uh, that was hard. I did everything with her on my own. And then I met Ed. He took on Alana as his own and he's raised her. And since then, we had Haley. And then uh, four years after that, we had uh, Hannah. I don't want my kids to lose like what they have, like that, that family thing, that mother and father going to the graduations and stuff that my dad missed. And now I feel that I have to fix it to make myself happy. I'm going to break the news to my mom about the surgery. She doesn't know yet. So uh, let's go inside and uh, break the news to her. You know, I've talked to you before about having a tummy tuck. Well, I'm going on Skin Deep, the show, and getting the surgery done on national TV. <laughs> well, uh, you, you ready in for that? My you mom that? tends to worry a lot, and I just didn't want her to be worried about me going for surgery. Yeah, how long the surgery will take? Um, that we don't know. Well, where I grew up was um, in a building with my mom and my brother. That my father's deceased. Well, so my mom raised us both by herself, good. and she did an excellent yeah. job. I think everything will be fine. Yeah. It was hard, but um, they, they practically grew up on it with babysitters, because I always worked. Yeah. Stacy grew up mostly on herself. My mom used to always put me in dresses, and I was the tomboy, so I didn't like that. As I got older, I chose to wear dresses and be more feminine. You feel nicer in a dress or a skirt. You feel sexy. What I'm looking forward to the most is being able to wear those waistline tops. So hopefully things will turn out the way I want them.